Okay, got a little bit of tip here for you on editing and um, optimizing images that you're going to use on your websites and citations. And to show you kind of the details, I'm going to pull up one here, and you can see these are JPEGs. This, this works for JPEGs. So um, you take an image, and if you right-click and look at the properties, you're going to see some other details. Here's a file name, and then there's a tab up here that says details, and then you've got a title, a subject. You can rate this picture, which great, give yourself five stars on that. You can add tags, and you can add comments. So I'm going to go through the correct way of optimizing these images for your website so that you can tell the search engines more information about the images and about the business. So to start off with, um, I use a software called Image Geotagger. And that's what I've got here. And what it allows me to do is kind of some bulk editing. So I'm going to take these three images and I'm going to add it to it. And one of the things that we want to do is make sure that we're using keywords in here. So to start off with, um, let's go add our NAP information, name, address, phone numbers, or all these details, because that's going to go in there as well. So it's going to take me a second. Business. street address sweet and was that 305 yeah 305 and 67206 so Wichita Kansas 67206 and this information just really helps out I mean the search engines will see this phone number I'll get my coordinates here in just a second category um, let's see if they've got plastic surgery under here okay as you can see, there's some other keywords that people would search. Cosmetics tends to be one. Um, we'll just put that in there. That's fine. And I think that will work for now. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to drag the name over to this box. And I'm going to grab the address. How? Try this again. Oh, actually. Okay, this would be a description. That's okay. Um, name, address, city, state, zip, phone, coordinates, category, keyword. Okay. And I actually like to. Put these just as they would be if you were typing them out. Okay, good. So I've got that there, and here's the things that I'm going to change. I'm going to change file name, title, subject, all these different things. So my tags are going to be the same on every one of them. Comments going to be the same. The only things that I'll change is these three up here individually. But author, I want that to be the name of business. And let's go to a map here and paste in the address. And come on. Well, looks like I'm going to have to enter it. One, oh. Select the marker. This ought to be pretty close to what I had there. Six, nine, eight. Because I had done this somewhere else before. Very close. This is just 370. Two, 
22041. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to select each one of these that I'm going to make changes to. And I have the details there. I'm going to copy all these, drag them down to the comments. You can see it put it all in there very nicely. The only thing I am missing is the website URL, which I want directly after the phone number. Perfect. Okay, those are the four things I'm changing right now. Oh, we got to add tax. Um, I'm just going to add some in here, for example, real quick. Put a comma between each one. And you, you might want to put um, put some actual service keywords in here, services like breast augmentation, things like that, uh, rhinoplasty. Those are those would all help out. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for right now. And I hit the apply, and you can see it changed all those. So now I'm going to go turn this one off. I'm going to edit each one of these individually now. And we want to use keywords in there. So this first one, I'm just going to use file name plastic surgery Wichita. And I'm going to make the um, file names. Uh, I Mess that up just a little bit. I prefer that you use a hyphen between each keyword and lowercase because your URLs are going to be all lowercase. And subject as well. Okay, so I'm going to make the change to this one. Now I'm going to go do the next one. Different file name. Okay. And the last one I'm going to make it Kansas. Now I would Probably um, for the one that's plastic surgery, this is as an example, but for plastic surgery Kansas, since this is a brand name there, I would make sure that's your logo. Uh, make sure your logo file name is plastic surgery Kansas, and you can even put logo directly after it if you want. So you could use plastic surgery Kansas somewhere else, um, but to make sure that you have those keywords in there. And let's apply this one. Okay, those are all good. Now I'm going to click, okay, cut off there real quick, but um, you want to click save, so make sure they're all checked, and then come down, and that's going to save them all in there, and then as I come back here and look now, you can see in my file, here's the three images, you right click, plastic surgeon Wichita, there's the details, now I'll probably go in here and make each one of them five stars real quick on my own. And while I'm doing this, I'll show you that normally you're not going to see the uh, geotagged information in here, but I'll show you where it is real quick because it has now added in GPS coordinates to this, which is very, very beneficial. And that's how you optimize the images. Thanks.